One of the most common questions I get asked is where I come up with my ideas for projects. Well, let me get all PBS on you for a moment and using my best drowsy announcer voice, I'll tell you that I get a lot of inspiration from viewers like you. For instance, a couple of weeks ago on the Mere Mortals Facebook page, Dale Weinke posted a couple of pictures of bookends that he had made. He made his out of walnut and maple, and I really like the concept of putting a photograph inside. So here's my version. I've made it out of walnut and cherry, and I've gone with kind of an art deco design. I've also simplified the area for the photograph using just a simple hole, a lot easier to cut. And I've added on a metal I guess ballast on the bottom that slides under books because one of the problems I've had in the past with bookends is that when you start to put books on them they often just slide away. <laughs> so thanks again for the inspiration Dale and remember a lot of the projects you see on this here dog and pony show are made possible by viewers like you. I've cut out four pieces of cherry that are five inches by six inches, and these are going to be my supports. What I wanna do is create a rabbited joint on each of these. I like making rabbited joints because they're pretty quick and easy to make, and there's plenty of gluing surface, so it's a pretty strong joint too. And the only thing about making them is that you wanna make sure that you work your way up to the cut just a little bit at a time, because if this cut is too deep or this cut is too deep, it won't fit properly. <laughs> I need to cut out a shallow inset on the bottom that's going to hold half of this sheet of aluminum that I picked up at the hardware store. At my router table, I've installed a straight bit and I've raised it up just the height of this piece of aluminum. So I've also set up a stop block here that's about two and a half inches back. So all I'm going to do is just make a whole series of light passes and keep moving the fence backward. So that gives me this shallow indentation there that I can put this into. I've sanded down that aluminum so it's nice and smooth. There's no sharp edges and that'll fit in just like so. I also rounded over these corners to give it a nicer fit. Now each of these pieces are also going to need slots in the back to hold the pictures. And I want to use that same setup and do it just like I did those bases, only I need it to go a little bit deeper. So it's got to be deep enough to hold this piece of plexiglass and the picture itself. I made these slots three and a half inches wide so that it can accept a standard size print. And then when you put it in there, the only thing you'll need to do is cut off the top part. So I'm rounding over all of the edges on these base pieces, my slices of bread here. <laughs> I wanna show you something I'm doing a little bit differently on this round over. I'm stopping the round over bit right before it gets to the end here. And the reason for that is just so that this transition looks a little nicer as it swoops up here. Without that, if I rounded it over all the way to the edge here, you would see an odd little gap in there. So this just makes that transition look a little nicer. I think this one actually looks a little bit better than my first one. I'm gonna to glue together all three of these pieces first. I'm just making sure that I just uh, put a thin layer of glue on this piece so that the glue doesn't squeeze out inside of the area where the picture should go. Wow, 
I was thinking rather than having to do this wacky glue up on these, you could just put screws in the back and underneath because they're not going to show anyway. Cutting plexiglass is a little different than cutting glass. You can make multiple passes with a specialized tool like this or even just a box knife I'm pretty sure will cut through it. And when you get halfway through it or so, it should break in half. Like that. Peel this plastic covering off of the plexiglass and it'll drop in just like that. Now I'm just going to epoxy on these aluminum pieces. I finished these with a few coats of lacquer and on the bottom I used contact cement to apply some felt. 